as always, I'm sad to see the end of VMworld Las Vegas 2011, but lots of exciting things this year. What was the most exciting for you, Richard? That's easy. For me, the absolute hottest thing was... A P P B O A S T Avalanche! <laughs> So AppBlast is a great new technology that we've been working on for a while that we decided to preview here. You can remote applications of any type from any platform and then deliver them with a rich user experience, rich fidelity in any HTML5 compatible browser or device. So I pulled up Visio here. I'm going to open a document that we've been using. And uh, you'll see here, this is the typical Visio screen with all the Windows controls in my Chrome browser. And I can use this just like you would use the app natively. And for me, the hot topics were? Project Horizon. And Octopus. So we have our Galaxy S, uh, a Galaxy phone. And essentially what this allows you, the user to do is be, switch between uh, two, two, two different profiles. Let's say you have a separate data plan. You have your own personal uh, AT&T personal account. You also have a corporate uh, data account. That gets separated as well. So if you have unlimited data from your corporate side, um, and if you have limited data on the personal side, um, all the data you're using on, a, on the corporate side, it's limited to your, uh, I guess your corporate account. So on the screen we have the Octopus web client. Uh, if you invite external users to come and access your documents, they'll be invited to the web experience. Here's a shared folder that I have access to. Uh, here's a specification. You can see that I can access the documents in high fidelity right there in the browser without requiring uh, you know, the native application to do that. So besides having a lots of hands-on labs, this year we also had scenario-based hands-on labs. And there's something new and exciting coming in 2012. But by starting using fixed data centers instead of every time, every year building up this environment, does that mean that at some point people will be able to experience these hands-on labs full year round? Absolutely. So the evolution of this is to actually look at a way to take hands-on labs public and that will happen sometime early in January 2012 is when we're targeting that. And what we want to do is make those labs accessible to people who can't always come to VMware. I'm in the hands-on labs with Natalie, Ron, and Michael who have finished in this order first, second, and third, all of the labs at VMworld this year. And, and Ron, in fact, finished first place last year also. What do you think about the labs? I'm more of a monkey see, monkey do type person, and I just can't get that from hearing people talk about it. I like to see and do it. And I, I can't do this back in the office, and I, I wish I could. The breakout sessions provide a lot of information, but when you really get to sit down and get to the meat of the product and really get to see it in action, that's where the real benefit comes from attending something like this. Well, it's not just about the sessions. Or it's in the hands labs. It's They're also a party. party. Richard, did you know that we laid 900 feet of hedging, 400 trees, and 12,000 square feet of grass? You think that is an interesting fact? Do you know we used 240,000 hotel towels, 107,000 soda cans, 47,000 beers, and unfortunately, 4,500 chickens didn't survive VMworld? Well, Richard, I think the most important fact or feedback is what our attendees thought. What's the best part of the show? 
I pick the labs that I think are going to be most prevalent in my own environment, like Site Recovery Manager, and you get to go through each and every step and see how it actually works. Uh, pretty much everything. I've just found out I got about a thousand lines of script I got to rewrite. <laughs> yeah, what's that Power CLI? Power CLI, yeah. yeah. I've got uh, a bunch of stuff that goes out and gets reports and stuff. And uh, I found a way to make them faster so I can run them more often. If you could sum up the show in one word, what would that be? Awesome. Enormous. Cloud. Incredible. Vegas. Wow, we shot a lot of video this week. And editing everything all by ourselves this year. Yeah. So make sure you watch all our full featured items on www.youtube.com slash VMworldTV. And this isn't the end of it. We'll have a lot of new and exciting videos coming at VMworld in Copenhagen. See you next year!